What's up YouTube family? It's Caroline here, your certified health and fitness coach. And today I am excited and delighted to welcome special guest, Linda K. Olson to our channel to join us for a chair cardio interval workout. Linda is a published author, motivational speaker, mother, grandmother, retired radiologist, and human extraordinaire who's been a friend and a client for many years. She just published her very first book, Gone, a memoir of love, body, and taking back my life. And her book details her journey as a triple amputee and her love story with her husband, who I think is also an incredible human being. And I've included links to her book below in the description box. Definitely check it out because it's probably one of the best books I've ever read. I could not put it down. And I mean, she has just been such an inspiration in my life. And I am so very grateful to share her with you. And I can't recommend her book enough. Thank you, Caroline. Linda, she's what keeps me in shape. Well, we work out together. So sometimes we do chair workouts. Sometimes we do floor workouts. Sometimes we work out in her wheelchair, in her chair, or on the floor. Right, Linda? And what's really good about Caroline is she can do anything. She can take any disadvantage or disability that you have and work around it. And she's smart enough to make all of your exercises work really well. So a lot of people aren't willing to take the challenge. She loves it. In fact, I think she thinks it's fun. Oh, and sometimes it's funny. <laughs> it, yeah, it is fun. Well, because movement is medicine, and there's always creative ways to figure out what you can do and how you can enhance your energy and your health and your well-being through movement. So today, we're going to be sharing a little bit of movement with you with this chair cardio circuit interval workout. We have six exercises we'll perform for 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and we'll do it two times through. So you can get your body moving, and you can see how Lynn and I work out together, and hopefully it inspires you to figure out what you can do and enjoy that in your world. So if you're ready to get started, I'll get our timer out. I'm gonna leave this book right here because I might pick it up, you know, as a prop. Who knows, we'll have fun with it. So we have 15 seconds until our first exercise starts, and the first exercise will be a side body reach and stretch. So we've done this one before together on the channel, and I hope you're ready to get going. All right, Linda, we've got three seconds. You ready? I'm ready. First one, three, two, and go. So we reach and stretch and switch. And today, Sally is joining us for the workout. Looks like she's doing a downward facing dog, an upward facing dog. Can never go wrong with adding an animal to an exercise routine. They add some extra motivation, that's for sure. So on this reach and stretch, see if you can get longer, use your waist, reach your arms, and stay with it. You've got 16 seconds. Yeah, nice job. Keep breathing as you stretch. Eight seconds left. Nice, Linda. You feel your waist? Yep. Awesome. All right, and relax. All right, next we've got a kick forward and a punch. So we'll kick one leg forward and punch and switch. Linda's laughing because sometimes this is the hardest exercise for me to do. Without an arm here, I'm always confused as to what, okay, which one went out? Well, we're going okay. anyways. Here we go. Kick and stretch. Okay. And it's good too because Linda has Parkinson's and combining moves that challenge your brain and your body actually help, right? Yep. So when we do exercise, we try to do things that work your brain and your body. Her goal is to confuse me most of the time. <laughs> in a good way. I want to confuse her in a good way. Get her brain working with those muscles. Good. So you want to think about using your core as you sit and get fit. It's all about that core health. And core strength is an essential part of Linda's programming. Good job. You got it. Four seconds. We get to rest. <laughs> and relax. All right. So core strength. Tuck jumps is next. So we're going to reach and stretch and then curl and tuck. Reach and stretch. So I want you to get as long as you can. Ready? All right. All right. Three, two, and well, the timer will go. Now, and tuck. Reach. Good, Linda. Stretch that arm all the way up. Use your core as you bring it in. Good. Breathe. I have to remind her to breathe because sometimes she forgets. 
a lot of times I forget. I forget too. <laughs> I think I say it more just to help myself. I just take one big breath and hold it for 50 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that uh, makes me have to like worry about having to use my CPR skills. All right, you've got 16 seconds left. Stretch that arm up. Good, Linda, nice. Core looks strong. 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. These are surprisingly hard. <laughs> Five seconds. Breathe. Yes. And relax. Okay, she's kicking my butt. <laughs> We've got goal post jack. So we're going to bring the arms up into a goal post position. Open out. And then bring it in. Okay. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm not going until I hear that bell. Three, two, and go. Out and in. Good. So trying to squeeze the scapula together as you bring the arms out, open the chest. Good. Stretch the body and get as big as you can with the movement. When I do these, I feel my core a lot. Uh, yes. Sometimes I feel my core. Sometimes I feel my legs. Hopefully um, you feel a little bit of your heart. Both. Yeah. Okay, good. And she's smiling, which I think is very advanced. <laughs> Nice job, keep that chin up. Try not to drop the head. Wow, my arms are on fire. <laughs> Whew, okay, six seconds left. Chair cardio is effective. I have found it to be quite the workout. And relax, okay, twist and punch. I love this because it gets the rib cage moving. So we're gonna twist and punch, cross. Okay, all right. Yeah, and you wanna give me the best punch you can like somebody stole your iPhone or Linda's book because it's really good. And go, side to side. Good, get those shoulders moving. Whittle the waist. I don't know why I say that, but somebody said it once to me and I thought it sounded funny. And so when I say whittle, the word whittle is just a funny word to me. Good, keep the punch as long as you can. There you go, try to punch me in the arm. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking hard. about. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> yeah, now she has some strength in that arm. She's like, yeah, let's go. This crazy lady makes me do all sorts of weird things. 12 seconds, breathing. My heart rate is up. Whew. All right, five. The countdown. And, okay, chair running. Okay. Okay, Rockstar, are you ready? Yeah. I don't know if I'm ready. You're working me out today. <laughs> this is good. It is good. What we should have done is I should have put my legs on for the second round. Oh, well. I didn't think about that. So I can go both ways. We're running. So Linda has legs that she sometimes uses when we work out. Right, Linda? Yep. Yeah. And she gets a better workout for her heart when she puts her legs on. So her legs are actually the cover of her book. So if you want to read her book, you'll see her legs. Good. Can we run faster? We have 26 seconds left. Oh, my goodness. Pump your arms. Get taller. Get longer, get as big as you can. You've got 17 seconds left to pump your heart. Woo, yeah, I love it. 10 seconds left. Okay, she's totally beating me. Yeah, Just, right. you are. <laughs> You're winning the race. Four, three, two, and. Okay, okay, we gotta do it, round two. All right, second and final, second and final round. And actually, she does beat me when we do butt walk races. Yes, and we're going to do that after this. She schools me. I'll have to add some of the butt walk footage. We should do that. We should do that. All right, here we go. Side body reach to the stretch. Over. Good. Yeah, Linda is an inspirational speaker, and she speaks at big conferences. And she recently spoke at the Parkinson's convention, correct? Yes. Yeah. And... I'm embarrassed to say this, but she showed the video of us butt walk racing and me losing. <laughs> it gets lots of laughs. People like it a lot. It's a yeah. way to end the talk. It really is. So I'll include some of that footage for sure with this video. You've got about 10 seconds left. Reach and stretch. Good job. Good job, Linda. I'm so proud we're doing this together. And relax okay second exercise is our kick forward and our punch so a little bit of mind muscle connection making our brain work with the body you know it's good it's good movement medicine that's for sure okay ready here we go we're gonna reach and stretch good and with this movement you want to see if you can twist the torso a little bit yeah there you go nice Linda 
It's all about doing what you can do and giving your body some movement that's going to make you feel good. What's your favorite chair cardio exercise, Linda? Uh, I think I like jumping jacks. Oh, oh good. You have different versions of jumping jacks. Every time you call it something different. So. I know. I've got way too many seated jumping jack variations. <laughs> Which, if you've done chair cardio on this channel, you've probably done a few of them. You've got about nine seconds. See if you can reach a little bit longer, stretch a little bit further, engage the core, and don't forget that breath in and out. And relax. I love the tuck jump because you get to stretch okay. and contract. So good. So you've got seven seconds to prep yourself for it. Feel free to chair march in place if you need to. In three, two, one. Stretch and tuck. Good. So you want to come little ball, big reach. Try to get as much movement as you can. Stretch the shoulders like you're trying to touch the ceiling. Whew. My gosh, this is probably one of the hardest chair workouts I've ever done, Linda. I'm, my butt is kicked. Good. Stay with it. This is our second and final round, so you want to give yourself the best possible chance to get a good workout. Good. Feel free to go faster or slower. Listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to. You've got 12 seconds left. Yes, I love it. So good. Seven. Hey, how are we doing? I don't know how you talk all the way through this. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> I was born this way, right? Rest. Okay. Three exercises left. So get excited because next up, Linda's favorite. She likes the jumping jack variation. So we've got goal post jacks. Bring your arms up. We're going to open and close the legs. Ready and go. Open, close. Try to squeeze that scapula. Open the chest. Good. Working out with friends is so much more fun. It is. And I think it's super important because mental health is an issue. And if you can be around people that support you in being your best in a positive way, that will improve your mental health. If you combine being around positive people with positive movement, that will also impact your mental health. So I want you to think about how your exercise can help you not just physically, but mentally. And surround yourself with people that help you feel good and do good. Stay with it. Linda is one of those people for me. <laughs> and relax. All right. Second to last exercise. We're going to twist and punch. I want you to give me those guns. Guns meaning bicep muscle guns. Okay. Ready? Boxers up. Ready, Linda? Yep. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Side punch. Huh. Yeah. Throw a punch at me. Now, I always say about punching out negative thoughts or anything that might be holding you back in life, anything you want to get out of your system, do you just punch it out? Use your stomach, stand up tall, sit up tall. Whichever way you roll, I'm rolling with you. Good. You've got 20 seconds left. Give me your very best, 100%. I don't know how I talk the whole time either. <laughs> All of your videos, you are so good at talking. I just like to, I like to hang out with you guys. So sometimes I think about turning the sound off, and then I think I can't keep the rhythm if I don't keep the sound on. So <laughs> I just keep listening. <laughs> yeah, that's what we hang out. All right, relax. Our last exercise. Okay. We're ready? gonna run. We're gonna run to the finale. The run to the gold medal. Ready? Are you ready, Linda? I'm only going if you're going. Together we go. Here we go. Run it out. <laughs> I had to start sooner. She had to start. We had to get going. Good. Now pump the arms, pump the legs, sit up tall, good, breathe, and don't forget to smile because that makes everything worthwhile. Good. You got 20 seconds left. Let's go for it. Woo! Stay with me. Stay with me. My heart rate is up, man. She is kicking my booty and she's winning the race. Gold medal. Okay, Linda, here's the countdown. We got 10 seconds. Woo! Oh my goodness. Hang in there, hang in okay. there. In three, two, and... Oh. Wow. My heart rate is up. High five. That was an oh, exceptional... We did, See, we did it. We did a good job. We did a great job. And I didn't fall off the chair. She didn't fall off the chair because she's got great core strength. And... 
it's been so fun to share this workout with all of you. So I would love to hear what you think of this seated chair cardio circuit interval workout in the comments below and absolutely click on the link in the description box so you can check out Linda's book gone because it will inspire you and move you in your life. I cannot recommend it enough. So please check out the description box below for this book and this amazing human being that I'm sitting here with right now. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this chair cardio circuit interval workout. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video, and we will see you again soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. This is the butt walk race challenge. I am trying to beat Caroline, who is my personal fitness trainer, and she's in really, really good shape. And obviously I'm missing a few extremities and we're going to see who can butt walk race the fastest. The goal is to see how far we can go in 10 seconds. So are you ready? I am as ready as I'll ever be, Linda. Okay. Okay. You all count down and you push the button and we'll go for 10 seconds to see what happens. Okay. Three, two, one, go.